Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is the 1st of December which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, take a look at the sketch with me, see the first set I made and find out how you can download the file for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel and you're going to want to download the free printable, make sure to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. If you're new to my channel or new to sheet load of cards, I'll tell you a little bit about it before we get into the rest of today's video. I like to stop by each month with a free printable for my subscribers. In this printable, I provide a card layout and tell you how you can make the most of your paper to get a sheet load of cards. A sheet load is usually anywhere between 6 and 12 cards and usually takes 2 to 3 pieces of pattern paper and 2 to 3 pieces of cardstock plus your card bases. On the first page of the file each month, I give the sketch that you'll follow, list your supplies, tell you how many cards you'll yield, and then if you only want to make one card, I give you the individual dimensions of each piece. I also like to let you know a few ways that you can switch it up or make some alternatives out of it. For instance, if your image is larger than this, you could always make that larger, or if you don't want to round the corners on December's, you don't have to do that. The second page of the file includes the cutting guides. I show you how to cut each card stock as well as each sheet of pattern paper. If you look at the top of the printable, each month I let you know two different hashtags that if you're going to show us your sheet load, I would like you to use those on either YouTube or Instagram. Now if you do want to share a card with us, I have a video that gives you all of the details how to do that. It's called Show Us Your Sheet Load and it is linked in the description box below. You can show us your sheet load on YouTube, on Instagram, or if you're not on either of those sites, you can send me a card to be featured at the end of the month Show Us Your Sheet Load video. I always love to see what you create with sheet load. Speaking of showing us your sheet load, tomorrow I'll be back to show you how I made my first set of cards and my collaborators will be joining me and sharing their first set for the month. If you aren't already, subscribe to their YouTube channels, follow them on Instagram or their blogs. Everybody is linked in the description box below so you can go ahead and do that. For December, if you follow the sketch and supply list and the cutting guides, you will yield 9 cards. You'll need three 12 by 12 pattern papers, two colored card stocks, and then card bases. You'll need nine total card bases, but if you're going to go ahead and cut down your card stocks, you'll need five sheets, and then you'll have that one card left over for a later project. This month does call for some corner rounding and border punching. Now, if you don't have a corner rounder, or you don't have border punches, you can use stuff in your stash that might mimic that. If you don't have a corner rounder though, just leave these corners square. Tomorrow in the video, I'll give you some ideas of what you can do if you don't own any border punches. Before I share a look at the first set of cards with you, I thought I would show you some of the products that I used to create them. For my sentiments, I use this Gina K Designs Holiday Tapestry Set. I use the Merry Christmas and Happy New Year sentiment. This stamp set was part of the Sparkle and Shine card kit, which is the prize that you could enter to win in my No Spend November series. Speaking of that, I will be back tomorrow afternoon with a video that announces the winner. So make sure if you did enter that you keep checking back and if notifications aren't on, go ahead and ring that bell. To stamp my sentiment, I chose the Gina K Designs Faded Brick Ink Cube. And I did my corner rounding with the We Are Memory Keepers Cropodile Corner Chomper. Love this tool. For my papers, I chose some from the Cranberry Christmas Paper Pad, which was a hot buy at Michael's. 
I chose the three that were called for in the instructions. And then on CS2, instead of picking a coordinating cardstock for the little scalloped bordered piece, I chose one of the patterns from the paper. That way I know that red is going to match the red in my pattern paper. I think we all know reds are usually pretty hard to match. So this makes it a little bit easier. Let's take a look at that first set. As you can see from this first set, there are some fun elements to this month's sketch. There is some corner rounding of the pieces, some border punching, and lots of layering. Make sure that if you don't understand how all of this gets put together, that you stop back by tomorrow to see the process video. Now let me tell you how you can download the printable for yourself. As always, I do ask that you're a subscriber to my channel. And here we just go on the honor system. Please make sure that if you're going to click on download and or print that you are a subscriber. It is free for you and is super easy to do. All the way at the bottom of the description box below is a link to the PDF file. Now this month it will look a little different than normal because I have password protected the file. I will be putting the password up on screen here in just a second, but just so you know, it is also typed below the link in that description box. The password for this month's file is capital S L O C capital D E C 2020. Make sure that only the S and the D are capitalized in that password and that there are no spaces. If you're going to try out the December sheet load, make sure to let me know in the description box below what holiday or season you'll be creating them for. Until my next video, which is tomorrow, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.